everybody. Welcome to Astrology and Psychic Readings with Lady D. I'm your host, Lady D, and I'm coming from Sydney. It's very cold today here in Sydney. Um, so it's, yeah, we're all sort of staying inside and it's, it's pretty cold. So I had a very big weekend last weekend at the um, ICC where I was broadcasting from. So everyone that came and said hi, um, it was really good to see everybody there. There was a lot of people, especially on Saturday, it was very, very busy there. Um, I did a, did a lot of readings too. And I also, whenever I go to these events, I also, but if I can, I always buy myself a little gift. So this, I got my, been wanting a crystal ball for ages. So I got myself a crystal ball, which is my new, my new, my new thing that I have. Okay, so what's coming up this week? We actually have a really big transit coming up that's towards the end of the week, like next Thursday. We're going to have Jupiter um, conjunct this week with the node. So that's going to be the, the North Node. So the North Node is all about our, um, so we're going towards, it's our life lesson. It's kind of like, um, like, I feel like it's like a destiny point and it is so, it's a collective, it is in Taurus and it is soon going to be moving out of Taurus into Aries because it's, it's the only um, thing when the chart that moves the opposite way from the planets, all the planets will sort of move anti-clockwise direction as nodes will go where the clock goes around. So, um, and with this Jupiter, Jupiter is a planet of luck. So in Taurus, as a collective, we, ha we have big topics that have been sort of looking at has been sort of money and financial things, as well as, you know, I guess stability in our environment has been a big thing that's been coming up. So with Jupiter coming up, up this in our own, own lives, we're also going to be looking at having some luck. So I feel like this is going to be bringing in uh, like positive things about like your destiny and like outlook on your life purpose and where you're going. As I say, I always see this is like a, a life lesson as well that's coming in. Um, but that is what it is all about too. We also have, so before the conjunction happens, we will have Mars that will square the nodes as well. So with that, in the earlier parts of the week, of, on this weekend, you might feel that, um, that you get a bit frustrated with your life, with like sort of your purpose, where you're heading. Um, it could also be a strength with that too, but because it's a square, there's more working against each other. So I feel like this is going to be about, you know, people trying to find their purpose, trying to really, in, trying to get having, you know, having something done and having some direction in their life. And that's going to be the some things that are, that's going to be coming up with that. And it is about what your destiny and also your purpose is as well. So that is something that that, is, that will come up with it. Um, everyone always has something going on. Everyone has a life lesson. Everyone has a purpose in their life. So and so you get in the beginning of the week, you might feel a bit frustrated with that. But then with the Jupiter coming in, it's more of a positive outlook. And I feel like people are going to see a lot things a lot more clearer when it's to do about their financial situations or in about relationships. People are going to, I feel like they're going to see a lot clearer than what they have been. We've also um, people thinking more clearly as well. I feel like it's about going for what you want. So people like we're all going to be sort of like thinking like we want to do that or um, that's really going to be coming in under like coming into our minds and heading towards that direction and like putting that into putting what we've been trying to achieve into practice as well. I feel like this is going to be a good time to maybe start something new or start something where you've been thinking about, you know, planting the seeds. This is where we might see the rewards too. Um, I've got here, um, people will go for what they want. There is no time to waste. So I feel like because we've got planets all moving into retrograde as well, soon we're going to have um, Saturn retrograding. We're also going to have Pluto that's going to be moving back into Capricorn this year too, very soon as well. So it is like, and then when the planets go backwards, it is, seems like things are going a little bit more slower. It is like we haven't really, um, so going within. So we are wanting to get things done. Things will work better when planets are moving forward. I feel like just unique opportunities are going to be coming into people and it could be just falling into your lap. So something you've been thinking about and life does put you in the right place. So whenever 
a big question that I get from clients, you know, when they come and see me is, are they on the right path? Did they make a mistake? And I always feel like there's never no, there's never any mistakes in life. Life puts us where we're meant to be. Um, even like sometimes through the our darkest days and the things that we go through, we get some positive coming up out of it. Um, I remember you know, just going how I found my way onto this path. It, I actually was um, out of work back in 2008 with the global financial crisis and uh, I couldn't, uh, back then I was doing admin and accounting work and as one consultant did say to me out of um, for those particular jobs there's that one job there's always like about 100 of us behind it wanting that job because it's, it's a job that a lot of people did, did during that time and probably still do now and I ended up having to go on to um, government uh, assistance and from there I actually had to volunteer at a community community centre which I think got a job within a week being there because I needed an admin person and from there I met a friend who taught me astrology who then encouraged me to do classes which actually led me to where I am now. So life puts you in this this way and, and these paths. And um, I even had a client yesterday who I could see that their daughter was psychic and intuitive. And he was like, oh, should we nurture that? The, the, that child will automatically, if she's meant to do this work, will be put in that path. That's just something that happens. If you had told me many, many years ago that I'd be sitting here now doing this work, I probably wouldn't believe you because it's something that I had never thought of or hadn't like clicked in. It was something that just wasn't there yet. So with this, you're going to find opportunities coming into your path. Your life will put you in the direction where you're needing to go in, in that time. And, you know, if you are born with your node in Taurus, it is going to affect you a lot because it's going to be a big natal, natal return. Um, coming up for you, depending on where your node is, it's going to be a double whammy for you with that Jupiter there as well over this. So that would be a big thing for those people who do have that. Um, myself, my node is in Cancer. So for me, my life lesson is all about, uh, fa it's about family. It's about the fourth house. It's also about, I guess, um, security and certain relationships within, within family. And I can see how that plays out in, in my life. So, but on a collective, we are looking at these opportunities that are coming in and it is going to be more about your, your relationships, a little bit about relationships, also about your self-worth because we are dealing with Tauruses, which is also dealing with the node, um, the second house, which is about your self-worth. So this is where, you know, and we all have these self-worth issues. Even, like I said, if you're a Leo, I feel like you've got it a bit, you, you sort of feel a bit more comfortable about yourself. But the thing with the Leo is that they don't like to be told what they're doing wrong. They will always want to be told what they're doing right. That's um, because they get, they're told what they're doing wrong. They tend to get a bit sulky. So, but with the rest of us, or if you're, even if you're an Aries, perhaps you might have more confidence about you. But there's some of us too that, you know, we, we don't, we have self-worth issues, some of us. We have a bit of a confidence to faking it till we make it. So this is going to brighten it up where, you know, we're going to find that we have more confidence in ourselves and we are going to be able to do things um, that we thought maybe we, we wouldn't do before. Um, so we got here... Okay, because it's like the blindness are off, people see more clearly, feeling more certain about things to come um, and about things in their own lives. And it's time to plan the next phase of your life coming up with this transit as well. People will care about each other. So I feel like there's a lot of the compassion that's been coming in. I kind of feel like the Saturn that's in Pisces is going to stop, is playing up and it already has. As I'd mentioned before with Pisces, it is, it is ruled also covers um, drugs. And even in Australia now, they're doing a crackdown on vaping with children. So this is more of a Saturn in Pisces transit. So you're going to have problems with, um, you know, and it's a good, I feel like it's a good thing um, with this transit that's bringing it to light. Um, but it's like people also show limits of their belief systems and they will, and people will open up um, a bit more to, to new, in, like to new interests and to new, I feel like religion. So I feel like this Saturn in Pisces in this week is going to start to people, I guess, that are very strict on their religion who just believe that might, this might make them open their eyes or make them look at things a different way or even be more flexible or perhaps even looking at a different religion that could be coming up to you too with that. 
in their spiritual beliefs and looking at spiritual patterns. Um, and that's going to be coming up to this week. Let's go to the callers. So we've got here um, it's Michael in Virginia, Michelle, sorry, Michelle in Virginia um, in America. So hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi. Hi. How can I help you today? Yes. Um, I want to know about my soulmate. Okay. Um, meaning like um, when you're going to meet them or? Yes. Okay. All right. And Let's like see. Maybe what his name, his, the initial starts with. Okay. I'll see what I can see for you. Let me see. Sometimes okay. um, the things that we want to know the most, sometimes I don't get timelines. I find things that people really, really desperately want the most. I tend not to get a lot of timeline, uh -huh. but I'm going to see what I can get for you um, with this. Okay. I don't feel like... I don't feel like you've met your soulmate just yet. Um, okay. I do feel like you are going to meet your soulmate in okay. this lifetime. Um, okay. Okay. I also do have an, I also have a lady in spirit. So I feel like she might be for you. She keeps on showing me a cake. Um, like a, it's, it's a light sort of, it's kind of like a light, a light kind of sponge cake that she's showing me. It's um over here. It's be like a Neapolitan. You see, you see about to get from bakeries. You don't see that much anymore, with the three layers like the vanilla, oh. the strawberry, and the chocolate with the um the icing. Um, that's with it. Like usually here, it's a pink icing, but it's a, a particular. The cake is a particular um dense. It's like a fluffy cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does she look like? She's she's skinny. This lady likes to take her time in doing things because she likes to want to get it done right. She does have a lot of patience. I do feel like she had mobility issues when she was older because she showed me with a walking frame and she's just walking slow. But I feel like this cake is like a birthday cake. So I don't know if it's a birthday that's coming up around you because um, she's like lighting mm -hmm. the candles on the birthday cake. And she's... Okay. Okay, she's sending a little love to you. Um, okay, it's a female. Is it your birthday coming up or a female's birthday that's coming up around this time? My daughter. Okay, because I, I did see a little girl with her because it's like she's got, it's a little girl because she's showing me a little girl with a birthday cake in front of her and she wants to say happy birthday. She could be an auntie, this lady. Mm -hmm. um, I am hearing auntie. Something to do with an auntie with her. No. Uh, okay or female uh, she was old she's telling me that she was old and everything had to be clean speak and spend with her as well she liked things to be clean and cleaning up after herself too i feel like she was quite modest as well i don't know she's, that's okay that's okay it may come up um after um okay let's have a look here she, when she's saying to me you, you'll meet your soulmate they're not to come yet. I mean, I'm hearing May, so I do feel like they they will come. I feel like it could be next May that they're coming up, or or two twenty five. Being like two twenty five, thinking about May. Um, what you're expecting may not be what comes through this person, but I feel like when you see them, there'll be something about them that connects you like together. I feel like you're gonna feel it in your gut. You're just gonna feel it, whether it be in your gut. You're just gonna have this instinct about this person, and that you're wanting to like be be with them, or just want you to know more about them. But I do get like knight in shining armor, so I do feel like they are gonna be like quite handsome or good looking. I I do feel like they'll have light colored hair. Um, you're going through a quite a, a you've been going through a lot to get here like I feel like you've been you've kissing like a few toads to get to the point where you are now this person will have money like they want to save money or they like to have money there for like a rainy day they will also where is she going to meet them um I feel like you're out meeting them either like in a um like in a bar in a club where you are meeting them so I do feel like you, you are out um, you couldn't be out in some sort of like country town or country because I kind of feel like that it is a country vibe to this club. Um, and this person just, I feel like they just, they just put, they comes in, 
that comes in. They also, have, they may have a child of their own, if they have like a son, like a child. Um, I just feel like a country vibe with them as well. But you're going to know, like, you'll be drawn to this person instantly. But I feel like it may not be what you've drawn to before. So I feel like this person is going to, I feel like, I kind of mm-hmm. feel like what this person is, is kind of like what you're not expecting. Is what I feel like. Okay. But I feel like it could be like in a couple, like two, like two years time, too. Do you um, see any initial, like maybe his name? I don't really get names. I am hearing Mike, but I don't really get names. Um, there will be some of an arm wrestle. So I don't know if he's going to have an arm wrestle in the night or some sort of competition, but something about arm wrestle. But I feel like he's going to be very positive. And there's a charming. I like his smile. Um, but I. I'll just leave it um, leave it there. Um, I hope I've helped you today, and I thank you for calling in. Okay, now we've got the next caller. So this is like a Leslie who's in New Haven um, in America. So hi, hi Leslie, how are, how are you? Hi Danielle, thanks for asking. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm good. How can I help you today? Um, I was wondering if you can help me regarding my connection with a guy named Daniel. Um, right now we are, we haven't been speaking. It's only been about like two days that we are not talking, but I'm wondering how he's feeling towards this connection. If he's thinking that he wants to walk away or is this going to make us stronger? I feel like he doesn't he, he doesn't want to talk at this point. I feel like with him he he doesn't want to I feel like he's avoiding you. I do see him looking at the phone, but he doesn't want to say anything. And I, I feel like he, he everything he says is wrong or it comes out wrong. He doesn't say yeah. things the yeah, the right way. But like he tries. Like I feel like he really tries, but it's just like he's not confident or he doesn't know how to use his words. Um, it's yes. like you need to be patient. Yeah, like you need to be patient with this boy. Um, like, he, he, and I feel like he's writing something. Like he's trying to I don't know, practice or writing something, but his his wife is is scrambling it up, and and he's um I kind of feel like this week's going to be a good week for you. Uh, look, um, I don't know. I feel like don't walk away from this. I feel like this is something that I don't feel like it's done yet. Um, you still need to. You're helping these. You're helping each other grow. So yes, I get really good cards coming out here with this. I feel po- oh, Danielle, like, it's, I- like the avoiding part is really resonating because he always, always looks at all my everything I post on social media, and then like I feel like he's going out of his way to like not look at it. Like, why is that that he's avoiding it? I feel like it's something about how he speaks. I don't want to say the wrong, the right, the wrong. Go around the situation. I feel like you need a network, so you probably need to go around maybe people that you know, um, or he knows. Um, but I get some really good cards. Like I get like this, like unity. I've got like the two like lovers card that's coming out here. So I just feel like it's not over yet. I'm gonna say by June, July, there's. I feel like there is romance, or there is like we're coming back together. Just seeing that June, July here, and I feel like. You're like, but you're helping each other. Um, I don't feel like he can run away from you, though. He can't. He can't run away. Like you've, you've kind of got him. So I feel like you need to, you do need to discuss things out. But I do feel like it needs to be more face to face than online or over the phone, because um, it's like you can read him better than face to face. It could be like a two, like two weeks or two days, like something like two, where you get to see him again. Um, I just feel not to give up on on him. I just feel like he's he's doing some soul searching. I kind of feel like it's just Thank you. I don't you. feel like he's got. I don't feel like he's got eyes for anyone else. I feel like it's just it is just you that he's like that he wants to um, be with. His part of him, I feel like, feels like it's it's a bit too hard. But he just gets in his in his head. He gets in his own head, and he needs to get out of his head. Um, I feel like just be patient with him. At this, you, I feel like you are going to get frustrated yourself because you just like, you know what you want and you just want to better go and shake you and be like you know stop stop playing around, and yes. just be just just be patient. I feel like I'm just hearing just just be pay, patient. I keep on getting the two, so I do feel like there will be um, 
they'll be contacting for like two weeks or two months. But I do feel like you guys are going to be like together again. I feel like there's, there's unity here. I feel like it's, it's going to happen. I feel quite positive about this relationship that's going to take place. Um, Amazing. Take that's place. it. I'm on the money with everything, everything, everything. I have gotten very frustrated and my soul, I feel it is saying to be patient. He's the worst when it comes to communicating and I, I am constantly um, just giving him feedback, like, you know, um, and whenever I ask him, like, serious questions, he looks at me, like, terrified, like, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am waiting, and I honestly feel, and I hope it's two days. Um, we don't go a long time without connecting, but my, I am getting the sense to give him his space right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really, um, like, what is it? Um respecting his boundaries right now i can sense that this time apart he's not like you know with other women or anything like that so thank you for validating that um i i have been very calm and uh, and allowing him to do his soul searching and you can understand that you know if you're a giving person you have to recharge so i'm I'm definitely allowing that anything and any guidance in general that you can offer aside from daniel because everything like calm my calm my heart (laughs) You just need a patient. I just feel like with you, it's just patient. I am seeing a book with, say, with a book I see studying. So if, you're, if it's he's studying or you're studying, I do see he's like studying. Like I actually see with him like he's like a book like at a desk. Um, so some sort of studying that needs to take place as well. And I do feel like um, when is that September, you're, there's a big leap forward for you in September. So I do feel like there is something coming forward. It is quite positive because I do see you very excited and very happy um, about September. I feel like because you just because I feel like you you have a lot of energy and you want things now. Big big lesson for you is just being patient, um, and that's <laughs> even other things in your life too. I just feel like because you kind of want to jump to the end uh, and miss out the middle, so you just got to. I feel like I keep on hearing with you, patience. Patience is the key for you. Thank you. Um, I have been um, in my head a lot with the whole Daniel thing, and he just finished a training program. So I don't know if that's like the studying part, I but be, um, yeah, I've been actually. Yeah, I've been reading. I've been reading a book on how to avoid Mr. Wrong and what to do if, um, uh-huh. if you if you didn't. It's really good and insightful on like psychological aspects of a relationship. Um, so I've just been doing that right now. But I am interested in going to school, so it all resonates. My birthday's That's in not- September, so I am excited not- about September, and I oh, can't great. wait until people make me feel special in September. <laughs> December eighteenth. If you ever know how to read an astrology chart, look for where his Mercury is. Mercury, um, a star sign that will tell you how he thinks and how he communicates, wherever Mercury in in what um, star sign. Say that again, um, like what, what placement in Mer- Mercury he is? Mer- where, where he's Mercury, if it's, like in, if it's in Aquarius or if it's in um, like Gemini, um, it will tell you how he thinks and how he communicates, but what star sign Gemini is in, in his birth chart, if you know how to read a chart. Yeah. Okay, we'll get into that. That's- that's okay. All right. Thank you um, for calling in today. So everybody, we've had an amazing show and um, I hope you all have an amazing week and I hope that it all works out well with this um, amazing transit that's coming up here with the Jupiter, we're meeting up with the node and I will see you same time, same place next week. If you want to connect with me, you can. Um, my website and Facebook is Lady D Psychic Parties. My um, my, my my Instagram is Lady D S Psychic. It's in my TikTok, and my YouTube is Lady um, Lady D. If you can't find it under that, just look up Danielle Psychic. And I hope you all have a lovely week, and I'll see you next time. So bye for now.